2796. When the church prays, Our Father who art in heaven, she is professing that we are the people of God, already seated with him in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus, and hidden with Christ in God. Yet, at the same time, here indeed we groan and long to put on our heavenly dwelling. Christians are in the flesh, but do not live according to the flesh. They spend their lives on earth, but are citizens of heaven. In brief, 2797, simple and faithful trust, humble and joyous assurance are the proper dispositions for one who prays the Our Father. 2798, we can invoke God as Father because the Son of God made man has revealed him to us. In this Son, through baptism, we are incorporated and adopted as sons of God. 2799, the Lord's Prayer brings us into communion with the Father and with his Son, Jesus Christ. At the same time, it reveals us to ourselves. 2800, praying to our Father should develop in us the will to become like him and foster in us a humble and trusting heart. 2801, when we say our Father, we are invoking the new covenant in Jesus Christ, communion with the Holy Trinity, and the divine love which spreads through the church to encompass the world. 2802, who art in heaven does not refer to a place, but to God's majesty and his presence in the hearts of the just. Heaven, the Father's house, is the true homeland toward which we are heading and to which already we belong. <laughs>